today I am going to declutter my closet. I have not decluttered my closet since we moved here about a year and a half ago. It's definitely in need of a good declutter, especially since I'm getting really pregnant. I'm getting that nesting bug for sure. So I'm excited to do that. Also on top of it, because we've been at home, because of the stay at home recommendations, we have a little more time to ourselves. I feel like I can take the time to just clean up the house a little bit. I try to be really conscious when I buy things to not overbuy. I definitely wouldn't call myself a minimalist, but I don't like to have too many things. And over time, even if you're not buying too much, it still can add up over time. There's certain things that get lost in the closet that you don't wear anymore simply because they don't fit right. So my kind of rule of thumb is to only buy things that I absolutely love and not just to buy a bunch of cheaper, mediocre things. I'd rather buy one special piece that I'm going to wear all the time. And then another factor I really care about is buying from ethical and sustainable brands. But first and foremost, I think buying secondhand first is the way to go. It not only does it save you money, but it has a lighter footprint on the planet. So I tend to do a little mixture of all of it. So I like to go on ThreadUp. As you guys have heard me talk about ThreadUp a lot, a lot of my clothes are from ThreadUp, which is the largest online thrift store, and I love their website. So I tend to have a mixture of quality, sustainable, and ethically made items, as well as secondhand items all mixed together. So I'm going to show you my closet. I'm going to show you my favorite pieces, what I'm going to get rid of, and I'm also going to organize Andrew's big of a mess in his closet. So I'm going to take you with me, and let's get started. All right, so I'm going to go through Andrew's section first. It's basically just workout clothes and garden clothes and then a bunch of t-shirts. I'm going to ask him right now if there's anything he wants to get rid of as I sift through the items, and then I'm going to just reorganize up here because it is such a mess. And this is his workout shelf or workout clothing shelf that I'm just gonna reorganize for him. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff up here. <laughs> Seriously, doesn't wear half the stuff, I guarantee it. So I'm gonna fold these for him and then you can go through what he doesn't need anymore. This is the pile of things that I was thinking you don't want anymore. Just get rid of, oh, I was right on everything? Wow, go me. What about these? Those, yeah. Those are the ones I set for you. Mm -hmm. Good. He doesn't like this one anymore. He like, refuses to wear it. Does he like this one? I'll ask him about these. Cheers. He wear that one. Oh, we could put all of his garden shirts in one area. Oh, oh. As I'm cleaning out Scout's clothes, I just wanted to show you some of my favorite pieces and some of her favorite pieces that she wears all the time that's super functional. Definitely my favorite brand of clothing for little kids is The Simple Folk. They're the most wonderful little shop, sustainably made, ethically made. I just cannot recommend them highly enough and the owners are just the sweetest people ever. So I just wanted to show you some of my favorite pieces from theirs. This is the ribbed pants and top and oh my gosh, it's so cute and fits so comfortably. I just love all the pieces. The materials are so soft and the design designs of the little outfits and dresses are just to die for. So I'm definitely going to be handing these down to somebody after Scout outgrows them because they're just so special. And I also wanted to show you a little bit of like my favorite secondhand items of Scouts. This one is the cutest little top. This is actually a secondhand item that my friend Ayla gave to Sandy and then Sandy outgrew it and has given it to Scout now and I think it's just so adorable. I've been trying my darndest to keep it clean with stain remover every time they wear it. Both of these swimsuits are hand-me-downs from our friend Alaya and and Scout just loves them. And this one is a little dress that I've had since I was pregnant with Elvis. My friend Sabrina gave to me. She had visited, I think she got this in Peru, but it might have been another country. I can't remember. She travels all over, but she got it at a vintage shop and it fits Scout now and it's so adorable. These little pants and rompers are from the Fox and the Traveling Gypsy. She's a stay-at-home mama who uses upside fold Kantha material to create these wonderful pants and romper covers. They're just so, so cute. And I just love the material. They're very sturdy and long-lasting. All right, now I'm actually gonna go through the rest of her stuff. Oh, this will feel so good. I found this stuff way in the back and I wanted to show you guys. This is a little shirt that used to be Andrew's when he was little and his mom sent it to us when Sandy was a toddler and he wore this all the time and Scout likes it too and I just want to show you guys. I am going to get to my stuff now. It's so funny because the stuff that I wear the most, I tend to just shove in here. So I need to make this more functional. I'm gonna pull it all out, reorganize it so it's easier for me to find the things that I wear the most. Oh my gosh. 
All right, I have a lot of stuff in this pile that I don't wear anymore, and then the other half of it is what I wear almost every day. So, yeah, I gotta sift through this. This and this that I got from Dead Up are my favorite pieces I've ever gotten from Dead Up, actually. I also need to get rid of, like, half of my swimsuits that don't fit me. This dress I've worn since I was pregnant with Elvis. It's used so much that it's like starting to fall apart. And there's a big hole in the belly. I just don't want to give it up. It just, I just love it. It fits so perfectly. Because for me, what matters the most is comfort and flattering, just fitting really well. And if I find that piece, I'll just wear it over and over and over again until it's completely torn apart. <laughs> Alright, so these are a couple of my favorite dresses. They're both by August the Label. This is my favorite brand for dresses for sure. I love wearing dresses, especially when I'm pregnant. I wear them all the time around the house. It's just the most comfortable. Although today I'm not wearing a dress, but most days I am wearing a dress. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know that I love August the Label. I wear their clothes all the time. So I'm gonna make sure to put my favorite dresses at the front of the closet. And I love that this brand is ethically and sustainably made. They have really high quality materials and I just love their clothing so much. So I'm gonna go through their dresses and I just wanna show you a couple of my favorites because I think they're awesome. So now I'm going to set aside any of the hanging items that I don't use anymore so I can free up space to hang up my other items that I wear all the time. And I'm going to keep all of my dresses and skirts in one area over here. This TV we've had in here since we bought the house it came with the house and it doesn't even work and we still haven't gotten rid of it all right it feels so much better in here it feels more spacious because i don't have stuff all over the floor i got rid of a good chunk of things that we don't wear anymore based on not fitting well or whatever reason or just being really old with holes in it so oh this feels really good there's something about when you're pregnant and at the end of the pregnancy you just want everything to be clean and organized nesting feels so good all right i'm so glad i did that very sweaty because it's really hot in that closet and it's a very hot day today but it was so worth it and thanks so much for joining me if you decided to declutter your closet here while you're quarantined at home. Please show me a photo, tag me on Instagram, I'd love to see it.